Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Eggnog and we are back with another dogfight diagnostic. I, I am once again in my old reliable friend, the Hurricane. But I've got it outfitted a little differently. Uh, yet again this time I've got Shavak cannons. Uh, kind of a Russian armament rather than the typical 12 XMGs or the um, um, uh, 40 millimeter gun pods that I've used in the past. Now there's some interesting things going on in this particular sortie. We are for a change not on the Finnish server. Uh, in this case we're on a um, custom 332 virtual fighter group uh, mission. We've divided up our, uh, our squadrons into two teams. Um, I happen to be uh, on the allied team um, and we're uh, tasked with the objective of taking out a um, uh, a German target and it's basically whoever whoever takes out the other team's target first wins um, so this was kind of interesting it just uh, pitched us against our own guys it was good for good for practice kind of fun to go head-to-head -head with each other uh, and made made for some interesting fights now in this particular sortie we've we've taken bombs as well on our hurricanes so we're gonna start by dropping bombs on the um, target area and then we'll wheel around and kind of convert to air cover uh, to see if we can find any um, fighters or, or, or German attackers on their way to, to our target. Um, so I'll just jump forward in time now, I think, to where we, where we release bombs on, on the German target. Here I am wheeling around onto the target. Hurricane's not really great for bombing. It just doesn't carry very large bombs. I think one was good at least. That's a big explosion, I got one. Ooh, triple A, lots of triple A. Yep, we're getting engaged by 20 mile on the ground. So with those bombs out of the way, me and my wingman uh, kind of egress to the north and we'll start working on uh, regaining altitude. And it won't be long now until we get into the dogfight that uh, we're going to diagnose today. I'll go ahead and jump forward uh, to the point in time where we spot the enemy bandit. So we've obviously at this point regained altitude and now we're just scanning. And I've just now spotted a bandit for the first time. He's below us which gives us a little bit of advantage. So we'll have energy over him. So I'll go ahead and pause here uh, so that I can mark his location, uh, what I'm looking at. So of course at this point, me and my wingman, we're, we're pretty tight formation. Uh, we've got altitude over this guy. As far as I know, he's the only one in the area. I haven't spotted anybody else. Seems like, uh, you know, maybe pretty easy picking. So of course my uh, immediate intention is to uh, engage, assuming we ID him as uh, enemy. Possible hurricane. Here he turns underneath of us. I roll inverted to ID. And I've got it. So I'm going to dive right onto his tail. This is the kind of situation where the hurricane is just going to shine. As you can see, I'm able to just kind of drift through. I'm going to pause right there. Uh, so at this point, um, you know, both from the comms for my, my wingman and, and from that sound, I know there's at least one more uh, that I'm obviously locked up behind this guy and it's looking pretty optimistic that I'll, that I'll be able to nail him. Um, but there is another in the area, so I know at this point I've got to make this uh, fast. Uh, in, in my opinion, this guy's made a mistake um, by turning and getting into kind of a low energy turn fight with a with a hurricane obviously I was able to dive right behind him um, so he's got an energy disadvantage but he's also got a maneuverability at disadvantage because the hurricane can just drift through a turn so I've got to exploit those disadvantages that that he has uh, to finish him quick and uh, try to go you know defensive or offensive on on this other opponent that showed up um, and uh, and of course the sooner that I that I do uh, exploit the, the situation here, the sooner I'll be able to do something about the uh, newfound uh, opponent. Oh, 
This one's dead. He's climbing. Yeah, I see. I see you taking shots. I see this situation here where I've got Misha on the left here climbing. He just took some shots, and there's a 109 down here uh, actually turning back towards me. This is a really confusing scenario because I've just, you know, finished taking one out. I'm trying quickly to uh, reevaluate the situation, get an idea of uh, where folks are, but I'm having a, a pretty tough time uh, visualizing the space. So I'm really trying to take this as a moment to look around and figure out what's going on. There goes Misha high, and here comes that 109 cross real close with me. So there he is there. Okay. Yep, I see. But come to find out, there's actually okay, a third. I watch out that I don't black out. Okay, I'll pause it right there. So my vision's getting pretty blurry at this point, but there was a third that showed up on my six that my wingman um, just warned me about. I think I had just caught a glimpse of him in my peripheral uh, for a moment passing over me, but now he's behind me, and the problem is He's behind me, and you can see my pilot is just exhausted. I can barely see straight. I'm looking at a uh, just a fuzzy, uh, fuzzy little dot. Um, so he's behind me, presumably, probably not as fatigued as I am, and I have to straighten out, or I'm going to pass out. So I actually thought I was probably done for in this moment. What I did though is just dip the nose to try and get some energy, and start to start weaving. Uh, to try and make this as hard a shot for that guy as possible. Okay. So my wingman's I'm, giving me some helpful uh, intel, deep. telling me the one's through. Here's going to be a few more close shots. I'm just going to keep ducking. I see his shadow swooping on me there, and there he's shot past. So right now I've got the 109 right here. I'm thinking he's overshot. This might be a good chance for me to actually get up behind him and see if I can, uh, you know, sort of punish him for the overshoot. Only problem is I'm pretty low energy at this point because I, I threw the overshoot, so it's hard to get my nose around fast enough. Um, but lucky for me, he pulls up, and here comes my wingman right on his six. So my wingman is covering me really well. Not only is he giving me uh, helpful comms uh, to let me know um, the situation, you know, behind me, but he's also <laughs> trying his darndest to, to keep me cleared and, and covered. So he hops in behind this guy, so I don't really have to worry about the one that just made a pass on me. Now I'm actually mostly worried about where's the third one, because uh, uh, I haven't seen him. He's the one we've kind of lost track of. Good hits. Where's the third? Oh, he's shooting at you. Watch out, watch out. Yep. And there's the third. We've got them all in sight now, so we've kind of got this whole line forming up. Now, in my opinion, uh, a better idea for this, this second uh, German would have been to actually get behind me, because what he's done now, uh, he's joined this one, two, three line, but he's put himself in, in number three, which means uh, he's got to worry about me getting behind him, and I'm actually just very well positioned for that. Um, so we'll just let the next little bit of combat um, transpire this is kind of the last moment when I, it's the moment I saw this I knew we've got the advantage because we're tailing them twice but they've made some they've made a pretty serious mistake here uh, and I just have to exploit that make sure I punish them you know if, if your enemies make mistakes you've got to make them pay for it you can't uh, you can't give them room to recover from uh, from uh, mistakes that they make like this one so good kill you got one on you. Bring him right. Perfect. I'm lining him up. Copy. I'm fatigued as heck. Well, likewise. I'll just do some scramble here. Yep, you're doing great. I hit him. I got some hits on me. Try to RTB if you can. Copy. I'm the blue speed here. I do better at low speed. Doing great. Oh, I hit him good. He might be out. Yep, he's out. Get out. Head north if you can. Yep. And there you have it. All we did was get into a fight and then wait for our enemies to make mistakes. 
And every time we did, they did, we just punished them for it. We didn't let them have any breathing room. Um, my guess is they assumed, hey, we're 109s and we have them outnumbered. This should be an easy fight. So I think they just kind of engaged, kind of sloppy. And uh, we, uh, we punished them. We punished them good for, for their sloppiness. Um, so this, of course, was a, was a pretty short one, uh, but I thought a pretty good one, and uh, definitely some, some excellent combat and, and hurricanes using our advantages uh, t and, and simultaneously exploiting our enemies' uh, weaknesses and, and mistakes uh, to win a, a, a dogfight that we uh, entered uh, as, as outnumbered. Uh, we did have better energy, but we were outnumbered and, and didn't even know it. So they, they definitely could have been more careful and uh, made that a lot harder for us than, than they did. So we uh, we made him pay for it. But that's all I've got for, for this one. Hope that was enjoyable. It was a pretty cool one for, for us. And uh, uh, we'll catch you in the next uh, diagnostic video. Thanks so much. Bye.